What's up everybody? I am in Mexico City in the historic district or El Centro Historico and as you can see behind me there are cathedrals, basilicas, palaces, government buildings, city halls, I mean you name it. There's just a lot going on here. However, these European buildings that the Spaniards built is not what I want to show you guys. There's actually something more beautiful, amazing right around the corner that's a remnant of the indigenous culture here of the Aztec Empire. And I want you guys to see that next, so follow me. All right, guys, so we want to go around the corner of the historic center. Right over here, we have something called El Templo Mayor. And El Templo Mayor is one of the last remnants of the Aztec Empire in its ancient city called Tenochtitlan. So I'm gonna go see if I can find me a tour guide now that speaks some English. Also, it's like uh, 58 degrees here in Mexico City. What's going on guys? It's cold. Like I got like two layers on. It's summertime in Mexico. What is going on? They promised sun and sunshine and instead it's it's cold and gloomy. If I wanted this, I would have gone back to Washington. Nah, I'm teasing. All right, let me see where the tour guide is. All right, guys, I was able to find a tour guide today, and his name is? Hector. Hector. Hello. Number one tour guide, if you want some of his information, look at the link down below. There it is. Oops. Backwards. <laughs> there it is. In Mexico, it's crazy. Everything is crazy. Come on. Here, please. Well. Uh, you are in a place named El Templo Mayor. Templo Mayor is the big temple, a great temple, okay? Well, Templo Mayor is the name of the big temple, the great temple of the Aztecs, okay? But in the beginning, there was an island. This island is named Mexico or Mexico. Uh, and all the island, it's a little island, uh, we have the big temple and 78 temples more, okay? Uh, of course, in a place with human sacrifices, for the Europeans, this is the home of devil, the monster. They uh, destroyed all of this, okay? And we uh, have only the vestiges of the different pyramids. We will visit this archaeological zone. Excuse me. Okay, come on, please. Hola, ¿qué tal? Well, this is a codex. The majority of the codex uh, were destroyed. But we have the original of this. It's from the 16th century. And the original is in Anthropologia Museum, into the library, okay? Come on, please. You can see this. This is the Aztlan Island, the White Island. Of course, this is an island, and this is a date, one night. It's 1128 year. The most, come on, please, close to me, as close as <laughs> possible, please. Thank you very much. Well, the most important god in this culture, not in this culture, in all Mesoamerica, Mayan, South America, the most important god is the earth. Okay, the sacred mount. We can see the sacred mount and a grot. And into the grot, the god Huichilopochtli. Huichilopochtli means the hummingbird. This hummingbird is talking with the people and he says, you are so poor, but it's right that, that you will be an incredible empire. But you must walk southern to find the promised land. Do you know some story like this? Okay, they... Oh, excuse me. I will move this. Thank you. Okay. And the guide says, you must to see a sign. The sign is in our flag, in our coins, in any place. Do you know the sign? What is it? Do you know the sign? Okay. I was there and I have a... I take it a... Uh... Okay, it's an, an eagle eating a snake on a cactus, okay? 
they walk it for 200 years 200 years to find a signal in this very very rare place because mexico city is on uh, 3,000 meters on the sea level and we live in a hole because uh, around us we have uh, mountains more than uh, 5,000 meters and we live in a hole okay and uh, the promised land wasn't a, a promised land they found promised water one two three four uh, fresh lakes and one solid and this curious eagle stops in a very little island four blocks each side but uh, God doesn't broke they must to build here the city when the Europeans arrived to this land they found an incredible city of 250,000 people living in the little island. How was possible this? For an incredible invention. It is named Chinampa. Look at this. The depth of uh, the lake is only one meter. Only one meter, like this. They uh, built some canals and between one canal and another they built surface, surfaces of, uh, for agriculture, okay? When the uh, Europeans arrived, they saw an incredible floating city, okay? Well, come on, please. Con permiso, buenos días, con permiso. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Group. Always in one side, okay? To allow uh, the transit. Here, by my group, please. Okay. In, in one, uh, excuse me, in just one side, okay? Oh, I am on the other side, okay? To hear me. Okay, please. Look at the cathedral and our possession, okay? And now look at this. This is the cathedral. This is the cathedral and the Templo Mayor. We are here in front of, okay? And it's the seventh step. The seventh and sixth step was, were destroyed absolutely by the Spaniards, okay? Okay, this is the south and we are on west. And we are, ah, okay, remember the name of the uh, mount is the Mount of the Serpents. For this reason, you can see many serpents. Okay. Okay, this is the south. And we have a, a, a southern wall. And we have another wall. And we have another wall, and another wall, and another, and another, and another, to the center, okay? Could you imagine this? Well, come on, please. And look at, this is the stones of the volcano. The corridors are made from the actual workers of construction. Because what's supposed to cover it absolutely, okay? Look at this head of this, uh, serpents, are like new, new, because during sixth century was covered for the next step. Es una lista para el próximo sacrificio humano, si ustedes requieren, si ustedes gustan anotarse, por favor. Well, this is Quetzalcoatl or Kukulkan. Kukulkan is Mayan language and Quetzalcoatl is Nahuatl language. Kukulkan or Quetzalcoatl, it's the feathered uh, serpent, okay? It's a combination between uh, the heaven and 
earth. Yeah, the serpent is the earth, and the and, and the uh, uh, bird is the head. Okay, come on, please. Could you see this circle? Is mar it's a copy. The original is into the museum here, and this is marking the exact uh, place was founded. Okay, this is uh, Guatemala Street and Argentina Street. Okay. Okay, stop, stop, excuse me, come on. <laughs> excuse me, come on, come on, please. Well, come on. When the Spaniards take out the water, they began to build on a bad soil, okay? For the reason our city is sinking from 40 to 80 centimeters each year. For that reason, all of this was underground, one meter. But now the city is sinking. Look at uh, the vertical of the different buildings. We have no verticals. They move. Could you see? And the cathedral looked like this. Uh -huh. And look at the white building. Adelante, por favor. Adelante, adelante, por favor. Could you see this? Okay. And we have no horizontal lines. It's moved. All of this is moving. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're in front of, of the pyramid, okay? This is the pyramid. Look at two stairs, two temples, and Coyol Chauki here. Well, on the basis, we have a big uh, head of serpent and two and one, okay? These two are they. Come on. From this head of serpent to the other, could you see? It's the beginning of the stairs, 45 meters. It's the same uh, height of the cathedral. Could you imagine the same height of the cathedral? And come on, please. Come on, from this serpent to the other, could you see the other? Is the part of Huichilopostli. Huichilopostli and Tlaloc. God of rain, God of war, exactly two. And remember, we had seven steps, and each step uh, has the same two temples, two stairs, and Koyo and Shauki. Okay? Uh, if you allow me, I will ask some questions. Okay, yeah, come on, come on, okay? Thank you very much for allowing me. <laughs> no, no. Okay, excuse me. Come on, please, excuse me, excuse me, come on. Sorry. You can see this is a step, and another, and another, and another, and another. We will travel to the center, to the beginning of the story, okay? okay. Come on. Buenos días, con su permiso, eh? Buenos días. Buenos días. Okay, this is uh, the exact place, okay, of the discovery. But the first question is, who is this lady so beautiful? Come on, look at this. Who is she? ¿Quién es, amigo? Who is she? It's Coyo Shauki, the same lady. But this is the another step, okay? But look at is uh, this this member? Come, how do you? Yeah, this member. This member. This member. Could you see? It's a very strange deposition yeah. because this lady was jumping and hitting to the bases. Look at uh, the arms is here, but the hand is another sense. Yeah. And the the chest is in front of, but the the waist is twisted. Okay. Okay, next uh, answer, excuse me, next question. Where is the back? Where is the head? Where is the head? Decapitated. Oh. Decapitated and? Kick what was down the, the brother? Kicked down the stairs. Yeah, but the, but the head was thrown. 
okay? For this reason, we have on the head, okay? From the exterior steps, they are so rich. In the beginning, they are so poor, okay? For this reason, you can do it's another layer. It's like new. Could you see the finishing? And look at this. I'm very deteriorated. The head of uh, serpents on the top. Okay, come on. Who are they? Who are they? The yeah, of course, they are the brothers. You are very intelligent pupils. <laughs> okay, I look at, they are so rich here because uh, you can see incredible, incredible architecture. Come on, please. And can you imagine the, uh, the quantity of hours of work for the people? They are not slaves. They were uh, people with faith. 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 They are people with faith. Okay, tons and tons and tons. In the beginning to cover this, and now to uh, the actual workers of construction to take out, okay? Well, stop, <laughs> thank you. I thought that the lagoon, the lake is uh, under us, okay? Uh, during many, many people, we get uh, potable water. And if you take out the potable water, uh, we have uh, some grots or caves. For this reason, the earthquakes in Mexico City are very, very, very horrible, okay? Well, the Spaniards haven't the technology for built on the water. They take out the water. And, and remember that we are on 3,000 meters, okay? It is easy to get potable water, but when we use the water, it's a very big problem to disappear this used water. Uh, we must to climb and to down the water, okay? For the reason in the beginning of the 20th century, we have many inundations in, the, in downtown. For the reason the government uh, built uh, a drain, a big drain to take out the water. You are on the drain, look at this. This is a drain from the beginning of the 20th century. Look at this. Imagine a home and the plumbers, <laughs> they cave this. But look at, in the beginning of the 20th century, the engineers could, the archeological zone in two, because this wall is the same of this wall. This wall is the same of this wall. They could, they cross, uh, 20 centimeters of cordial shout, 80, 80 years before the discovery. They, yeah, they, they only open, uh, build and cover. And take the money, of course. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, look at these typical ingenieros, as son los ingenieros. Okay, look at this is the third, the third uh, step. They are so poor, for good reason, it's very, very poor. They use the same stones for the next step, okay? Because they were so poor. Well, come on. Si nos podemos acomodar aquí. Okay, well, we are on top, here, okay? This is the top. And this is the second step, it's the second. Well, this is the side of Uchilopozli, God of War, and the other is the side of Tlaloc, God of Rain. And we can see a stone, dark stone, could you see? Like a trapezius, come on, please. This stone is for the sacrifice. Okay? Uh, if you draw 
a line like this. On the last step, we can see the, the face of Huichilopostlica. Could you see a little face on the last step in direction of this line? Yeah. Of course, in a human sacrifice, we have many, many blood. All the blood cover and fertilize the uh, sacred mount. Okay, this is the function of the, of the blood. Uh, the water and blood, the water is uh, the male factor and the female factor is the air. If we have no rain, we haven't uh, uh, wet, and no tortillas, and no tomali tamalitos, anything. For this reason, the rain and the blood is very, very important. Okay? Okay, come on, please. Here. Are you ready? Are you tired? Okay, come on. Please, here. I will try to, to explain a very hard process of the sacrifice, okay? Please hear me, okay. If you see in the morning uh, to east, uh, the sun was born in a horizontal line. Are you agree? And they must to climb this direction, this position, okay? If you are climbing some mountain, uh, stairs, etc., and then you are without energy and so tired. And remember that the sun is this personage with Chilo Post, the personage of the story. Do you remember? Well, at the end of the day, maybe at seven or eight, she is without energy, so tired, because during the travel, the sun gave us uh, illumination, life, head, etc. They thought that in this position at eight o'clock, seven o'clock, he will enter to the darkest sun, to the night, and he will find the brothers and sisters. And all the night, he must to fight again and again and again. And it's better that they won, but if not, next day won't appear the song and it will be finished. Not only the people, the life. For the reason they find a way to recharge the song. Okay? We will need some volunteer please. Now, <laughs> not today. And look at this is well, look at this is the other side. Okay, do you remember Tlaloc, the god of rain? And this is a hole. And archaeology is David Kala. Uh, of course, we know by X-rays and uh, ultrasonic the first step. But when we uh, began this hole, we had a, a big earthquake. And we have, I don't know in English, it's crash lines? What is the crash line? Fault lines. Fault lines, fault lines. We have fault lines. And the engineer says, if you uh, continue, you will destroy everything. And we will stop here. For this reason, we can see only the second step. Okay? Do you know this is Chakubo? It's a messenger of the God of Rain. He has a dish for offering. Uh, little birds, vegetables, grains, all about the God of agriculture, okay? And on the other side, hearts. We are on north. This is a northern wall. Look at this, and another wall, and another wall, and another wall, okay? very deteriorated uh, the head of the snake. snakes. Look at this, this is a beautiful view, come on. 
you can see a corner and another corner and another corner, you can imagine very, very clear the evolution of the pyramid. Ay, querida! Por favor. Travel more. Ah, que bonito está, eh? Gracias. Gracias. Five dollar, five dollar. Con su permiso oficial. We don't stop. Okay, we won't stop, but look at it's very, very clear the different steps. ¿Cómo está oficial? Buenas tardes. Could you see this? Mira que está en la ciudad. No, ya, ya terminamos. Ya, ya, ya. Ya, llevamos una hora y cuarto. Lo vamos a caminar. We are exiting of the uh, from the big temple. Could you see? This is the wall, northern wall. Look at the the serpents. And look at this. In the beginning, they were so uh, poor. Look at this class of uh, of a floor. And look at the next quality. And the next is a luxurious. Could you see three different? Yeah, of course. 98% is original, okay? 98. Buenos dias. <laughs> Have you seen these little stones? Okay, these little stones is our uh, National Codex of Reconstruction. If you see this in a church, in an archaeological zone, or any, 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 any place, you are sure that it is a reconstruction, okay? This is the house of the eagles. The eagle is Huichilopochtli God. Okay? Look at, see, we have a, a ceiling. Could you see? This ceiling is supported by the uh, columns. We have original colors. When you see a structure like this, it's because we have colors and sculptures originals. Okay, we have different sources, mineral, animal, and vegetables, okay? This is from the mineral, the red is mineral, okay? But we have purple uh, from a snail, and we have different sources. This way, please. ¿Qué tal? Muy buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está, linda? Buenas tardes. In red, we have banquets of soldiers. Uh, we are so far, but in, into the museum, we will see very, very close. It's uh, uh, the soldiers are marching to the battle. Many, many soldiers marching to the battle.
Look at this some bandly soft wall of skull. 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 Skulls. Skulls. Okay, this is an artistic, uh, an artistic uh, platform. But uh, could you see on top we have a, a wheel? In this wheel, uh, we had uh, a, a, an incredible quantity of skulls. Okay. Yeah, it's real. Okay. We have in the museum. Into the museum, we have more than one thousand of. No. Okay. This is only the deposit, but we are uh, we have discovered. Okay, this is the deposit for a mountain of skulls, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the skulls were formed like this. Okay. And this wall says uh, exactly. Inside were the real skulls. We have into the museum more than one thousand five hundred uh, skulls. Oh, yeah. One more. One more question: Is this a floor original or is it a reconstruction? Is it original, the floor? Excuse me, or a reconstruction? Reconstruction. What part? Exactly, only the center. Yes. <laughs> AI that grades essays, <laughs> AI that does a lot of stuff. Ah, si usted me dice. Okay, look at this. He is Manuel Gamio, an adventurer. He's considered the father of the uh, Mexican archaeology. Uh, he gave, discovered a lot of uh, important uh, parts of uh, archaeologists, okay? He was an adventurer, a some director of uh, Hollywood. Read the biography of he, I create a personage named Indiana Jones. Do you know Indiana Jones films? He is the original, he's Mexican. He's the original Indiana Jones, Manuel Gamio. With the experience himself, he thought that the right, that a uh, big temple is behind, under, uh, excuse me, under the, the cathedral. The error, uh, was, uh, mistake, it was only some meters from the... Okay, we're finishing, come on. As an exorcism, uh, all, uh, all the permits were destroyed and covered by the big platform. Ah, we have a lot of guts. guts. Do you remember, uh, do you know the Chihuahua dog? Another emperor? <laughs> Okay, was covered uh, the pre-Hispanic uh, floor, and they built a, a Catholic convent. Okay, we can see parts, for example, a fountain, some woods, uh, an ark for the wheel, and now we have here a pre-Hispanic uh, city, a colonial city, and a modern city. Three cities in the same place. Okay? Well, come on, please, two minutes more. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much <laughs> to take the guide. Okay? This is uh, the, the museum. If you have time, 
you came to, to, to visit, okay? Well, thank you very much. You will need your uh, ticket for the entrance, okay? Well, thank you very much, okay? Let's go, muchas gracias. All right, you guys, that was, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was a tour for El Templo Mayor here in Mexico City. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys understood the tour guide well, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Cheers.